Welcome biologists to this third session on spec pointancy from classification and evolution where we're going to be start taking a look at the differences between the five kingdoms and the three domain classification systems. In part one and two we had a look at the bits in green we're now focusing here on the bit in black. Now what we're used to are the five kingdoms and we've seen these in spec point um, c further on in uh, video two where we looked at why certain organisms are classified into these different kingdoms and what carl woos did is he thought well actually that's not very representative of what the actual organisms are made of and how they work and how they um, are what they're made of. Um, so what he did is he looked at in a bit more detail into the prokaryotes and eukaryotes, specifically the prokaryote. And he was saying actually that they need, they need classifying further uh, because they have differences in their RNA, um, rRNA, which is ribosomal RNA, RNA polymerase, and also protein synthesis. So he was saying actually that the prokaryote kingdom should actually be split into further um, different domains such as the bacteria and the archaea. Now archaea are basically the extremophile bacteria. These are the bacteria that live in like the hot underwater vents or in very acidic conditions or very cold conditions or salty conditions. And what he did is he's saying that actually these five kingdoms, the prokaryotes should actually already be divided here and split between bacteria, bacteria and archaea due to fundamental differences within these. So what he's saying actually is the five kingdoms is redundant and that we should be using the three domain system. And these are the reasons why. So if you want to pause the video and have a read of this, you should be able to identify the differences here between the bacteria and the archaea domains. So as you can see here, they've got main difference here in um, RNA polymerase, they're very different. Um, but also there's differences here between the first amino acid during protein synthesis. So we've got differences in our RNA composition, which is ribosomal RNA composition. We've also got differences in RNA polymerase structure, but also we've got differences in how protein synthesis is working between these different domains as well. And that is the main way in which he decided to split in those domains. So, um, Anything in a red box is taken directly from the mark scheme. And this is what the mark scheme really likes you to talk about here and the why life is now classified into three domains. We've got a lot more evidence for the three domains than we do have for the five kingdoms. So the three domains is more popular supported by scientists now. Um, so the reason why the three domains is better than the five kingdoms is because basically it fits phylogeny better. Now, don't forget that phylogeny is the closest of evolutionary relationships. And the reason why that the three domains fits phylogeny better is because of those fundamental differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, but also the fundamental differences between bacteria and archaea due to the reasons that we've already discussed. And that's one of the reasons why. So that's everything that we've covered now in spec point. See, I'm just going to go through an exam question for you. So here is an exam question. And like, as I've been saying, you need to be annotating your questions as you're going through to try and get the most out of your questions. So it should be outlined. This is kind of like a grade E, D kind of question. But I, I should be comparing. The comparing side brings it up to a grade B kind of question. Now, don't forget when you're comparing them after similarities and differences. So I'd, I, I would actually split up my question here. So I've got like a subheading here, similarities, subheading here, differences. And I'd try and think of the differences and similarities between the two. So if you want to pause the video and have a go at this, I'll move on to the mark scheme shortly. So here is the mark scheme for this answer. Um, if you want to pause the video and have a read of that, make sure you're taking in consideration here the right-hand side of the mark scheme as well because there's some beautiful lines here that can get you more than one mark, so which should save time in the exam. Guys, good luck with your exams. All the best with your studies. And don't forget, do not use the word it, they, amount, and size. Good luck.